Thank you. Uh, my name is Katie Tipton, and I'm the director of the City of Houston's Department of Neighborhoods. Um, the Mayor's Office for People with Disabilities resides in the uh, Department of Neighborhoods, and I'd like to welcome everyone here today for the kickoff of the Mayor's Disability Awareness Month. I'd like to recognize some folks. Uh, we have Mayor, um, Council Member Wanda Adams. I believe that um, there are other folks here from city offices, and we, we appreciate your, your being here. Uh, I'd also like to uh, recognize the members of the Houston Commission on Disabilities. There's some of the, those folks out there, if you give them a hand. Today, we want to thank uh, some folks for their support and for being here. Dr. Stephen Schnee, the Executive Director of MHMRA of Harris County. <laughs> Martin Ebel, uh, Deputy Director of EEOC. <laughs> A man who needs no introduction, Dr. Les Frieden. Uh, professor of Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation, University of Texas Health Science Center, Houston. Uh, my colleague, Judge Barbara Hartle. Uh, <laughs> Joe Bonke, Chair of Governor's Committee for People with Disabilities. <laughs> David Fowler, National President of the Paralyzed Veterans of America. Paul Ramos, Territory Manager for the Internal Revenue Service, joining us from Dallas today. I'd like to thank our MC, Jean Norman, Chief Meteorologist at Channel 11. You got the whistle. <laughs> Dr. Peg Nozak, Executive Director, Center of Research on Women with Disabilities at Baylor College of Medicine. Pastor Arthur Craig from Woodhaven Baptist Church, and yeah, I agree with you about the rag bleaching. Uh, Rabbi Laura Steinhoff. Tammy Campbell Brown, founder of Honey Brown Hope Foundation. Andrew Skabowski, Senior VP at Houston Metro. Special guest today, Christine Ha, the 2012 Master Chef winner. And Bill Klein, star of TLC's Little Couple reality show. I'd also like to thank personally Elaine Roberts, Alveda McKinney, and June Eaton for the memo PD for the work that they've done. And of course, now it's my privilege to introduce Mayor Anise Parker. Houston is now officially, after the last census, the most diverse city in the United States. And part of the amazing, wonderful, beautiful diversity of Houston is displayed here in this auditorium. One of the things that is a blessing in Houston is that we have used our diversity to strengthen us instead of to divide us. But with wonderful, amazing diversity come challenges. All sorts of challenges. The challenge of making sure that everyone in this great city has access and opportunity 
and the ability to enjoy what is available in Houston. Today, we are kicking off Disability Awareness Month, and we're going to spend some time celebrating the diverse abilities of people with disabilities. I am here to reinforce my commitment to making sure that every Houstonian has increasing opportunities to enjoy what is available in Houston to its residents. And I'm here today to visit with some old friends, here today to enjoy a little entertainment, and I'm here today, as you are, to recognize how far we've come in addressing the opportunities for people with disabilities, but also to acknowledge how far we have yet to go. Now, I'm grateful that Katie Tipton, who spoke prior to me being up here, had the responsibility of introducing all the dignitaries in the audience. But I want to uh, personally salute uh, Dr. Frieden and say uh, a hint. You just heard his name if you fill out the uh, uh, crossword puzzle. And I want to thank Bill Klein and Christine Ha for being our keynote speakers today. And uh, Bill, I don't know where Bill is. Bill? I was going to say, I was going to thank the doctor for allowing me to be on her TV show. Really raised my profile. <laughs> uh, but I hope that due to the excellent efforts of Elaine Roberts as the new director for the Mayor's Office for People with Disabilities, that you have seen a more responsive, a more respectful city, and that you continue to be able to count on the city of Houston to be a partner as we move forward. This year, or actually this next year, 2013, will mark 20 years since the Mayor's Office for People with Disabilities was established. And it is, as any significant milestone, an opportunity to take stock, figure out what the next 20 years are going to look like. I think we have great opportunities to take our diverse strengths and diverse abilities and diverse gifts, diverse talents, and make Houston an even better place to live and to work and to raise a family. So I want to thank everybody who's here today and let's all enjoy this party together. Thank you.